Hello there everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Dead Rising. So at the moment I'm just screwing around in the mall waiting for the uh, next mission to start. So not not very exciting stuff. Unfortunately can't grab any of those paper towels, but whatever. We got shampoo. Yeah, eat that shampoo. <laughs> God, he looks silly. Oh, right in the crotch. <laughs> that wasn't even planned, but good, good throw, Frank. Good throw. Yeah, we open up the containers here. Hey, there's ice pops. I could go for some ice pops. I need the health. And more pet food. What else is there that we can throw at them? Snacks. Chips. Yay. I like chips. Kind of want some, kind of want some Ruffles potato chips now. Cookies. I love cookies. Cookies are delicious. Uh, I got some cooking oil over here. Mm, yeah, let's let's make a mess with the cooking oil, shall we? First, beat him with it. Yeah, beat the zombie with it. And I actually killed him. Yeah, you like that? Take my cooking oil. Take my bacon ingredients. Bitch, come on, eat it. <laughs> I think it actually killed him too. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, oh boy, uh, is there anything else? No. Darn. Yeah, honestly, this is kind of just a fun area to play around in, honestly. I, I had a good time when I was in this. Ketchup! Yeah, it says condiment, but it's ketchup, clearly. Eat the ketchup. <laughs> canned food! Eat the canned food! Oh, damn it. Eat the condiment. <laughs> Eat more condiments. Catch up for everybody. Eat it. Eat it, bitches. Enjoy it. <laughs> Seriously, I just love the comedy in this game. It's great. Oh man, I love this game too much. I'm gonna eat those ice pops. Grab some more pet food. Eat the pet food. <laughs> oh, there's, there he is. All right, fun's over. Yeah, I was going to go meet that girl. Now we're going to go meet that girl. <laughs> Look at them all tripping. <laughs> oh, that's great. Oh man, this game's just too much sometimes. Alrighty, let's go meet Isabella. And grab her motorcycle, and I believe what Otis. I fuck. God damn it. Now we're going to have to hear Otis scold us. Come on. Talk to me, Otis. Yep. Don't kill me off like that. It's rude. I, I was in a motorcycle accident. I think I have every right to cut you off if I was in a fucking accident, asshole. And yep, I recalled correctly. Now we get to meet Kendall, who's just right outside the uh, place where we meet her. Hey, you alright? Yes, I'm just trying to get off this damn... Wow, you just blew yourself up like an idiot. Yeah, just trying to get off the motorcycle. Yep. And he's got a shotgun, which is pretty nice. Security room safe one, come with me. God damn it, zombie, don't interrupt our conversation. Yep, helicopter gum kills on Friday. Too, sounds too good to be true. It's coming, I guarantee you, trust me. Let's go. Yeah, that sounds good. Alright, so Kendall joined us, and now I'm gonna go grab Isabella. Alright, let's open the door. And, uh, if you wanna get technical, I'm late to the meeting, and yet so is she. What the hell's going on here? Uh, there's no dialogue in this cutscene, so I'm just gonna talk over it. Where are you, Isabella? Why are you late? So unprofessional. Not like me. Not like Frank West, who's always on time for appointments and whatnot. What the hell? Oh, shit! Was she bit? Oh, hell. That's bad. Kill him. Yeah, kill him. Oh, come on. How does that not count? Were you bitten? No. It was Carlito. I tried to talk him into coming, but it was no good. He, he doesn't trust anyone. He shot you? He didn't mean to. He was upset. I don't 
don't know what he'll do next. Hey. Hey. Guess we better get her back to the safe house and for some reason she passes out in the cutscene and yet all of a sudden she's standing up just fine. That makes no sense. Me. Bullshit, Carlito, you are full of fucking shit. Seriously, you are the worst kind of liar. No. She ain't coming back to you, asshole. Bullshit! You are so wrong, dude. Seriously, Carly, I'm gonna kick your fucking ass at some point. Next time I see you, I'm beating the living shit out of you, motherfucker. Seriously. Fuck Carlito, alright? I hate that guy. Seriously. He is just the biggest asshole in this game. Like, seriously. And he knows a lot more than, uh, than we know, unfortunately, so... Yeah, we will have to catch up with him at some point, but uh, for right now we need to get Isabella back to the safe house, because she's been shot, poor girl. Why would you shoot her like that? Seriously. I don't I don't care if you're angry. That doesn't give you an excuse to shoot somebody. That's ridiculous. Fucking piece of shit. Seriously. Now, he's definitely gone too far now. You know, he, he fucked with me, he fucked with Brad, he's fucked with everybody, but now he's gone and shot Isabella. Dude, you are a fucking piece of shit. I'm gonna kick your ass. Seriously. Okay, Isabella, despite the fact that you're supposed to be passed out, go wait over there while I go get Kendall. Seriously, that makes no sense. I understand, like, from a game perspective that, yeah, we can't just have her, you know, passed out. That wouldn't make any sense. You know, we'd have to design something specific for that, but, uh... Or we'd have to design that specifically... Ah, shit. Okay, good, Kendall's here. Come on. Come on, Kendall. Run past the cultists. Do not engage with them, please. Yeah, let's get to that, uh, get to the, uh, shortcut, shall we? So, yeah. Alright, you wait there while I make sure Kendall gets here, or I can just wait. That works too. Yep, there's Kendall. Kendall's definitely one of the better survivors. Not only does he have a shotgun, but he's usually pretty good at getting around too. So, yeah, I like Kendall. Kendall's definitely one of my favorite survivors. He's definitely one of the better ones. You know, he, he's a badass after all. Just look at his awesome tuxedo and how he's always shooting zombies and whatnot. He is awesome. Yeah. And I think there's extra dialogue with Carlito if you uh, don't take the shortcut, but why wouldn't you take the shortcut? So much quicker. Or I might be thinking of some, some other later part, I'm not sure. This isn't the only time Carly is going to be talking to us, spoiler alert. At least over the uh, intercom, I should say. Alright. You wait there. Kendall, get over here. Oh, look at that, Kendall! My boy! Seriously, look at him! He is whooping ass right now. He actually listens to me, thank you! Seriously, what a nice break compared to all those other fucking survivors. Nope, oh, come on, Isabel. Let's get going. Seriously, Kendall, you are the best of the survivors. Seriously. Alright. Let's go in there. Get some math. Don't forget about Kendall. Thank you. Alright, I shot one. That's a lot more than all my other survivors did, so. Thank you. Alright. Let's go. Oh shit, please tell me Kendall didn't get left behind. Who is that? Is she hurt? Yeah. You're looking at the bad guy's sister. Bad guy? The one who caused all this? That's right. Her asshole brother caused the zombie outbreak. His sister? What in the hell is going on here? I mean, does this have anything to do with that announcement earlier? I don't know much more than you at this point, okay? But he shot her, I can tell you that. And just so you know, that would be the same guy that shot you.
What's he after? What's his ultimate goal? I don't know. But according to her, his plan isn't over. Not yet. Fine. Consider her in DHS custody. We'll question her when she wakes up. Okay, good. He's here. I guess I could stick around for a while. Yeah, it's not not so bad, man. It's a little, little small and whatnot, but that's okay. It's all, it's. I mean, we're only going to be here till Friday, after all. All right, so we're a score points. Yay! Time for a save. Uh, saving people's hard, isn't it, Frank? It's hard being a hero, but uh, somebody's got to do it, especially during the zombie outbreak so the next mission is going to be San Cabeza and doesn't start till 3 a.m. I don't know why I pushed B again I was trying to open the door and I accidentally saved again so my bad all right forgot this was the point where I wanted to make a second save just in case cuz uh one thing I didn't mention yet is that there is an achievement for getting all the survivors in the game I think there's also a uh, I got bonus item you get too for completing completing that right. challenge. I'm not sure, but uh, I want to make sure that I got nice. the achievement just because I figure if I'm going to do this run, I might as well get something out of it. I'm not really that big on achievements, but I was just like, you know what, might as well make sure I get it. So yeah, yeah, she's got a few secrets up her sleeve, but uh, we'll talk about those later. So. Yeah, that's the main reason I made two saves, just to make sure I got the achievement, but, uh, spoiler alert, I'm not going to need them. So, yeah. Just figured I'd throw that out there. You know, give you guys a quick explanation. Alright, so. Now we're going to go do a strange group, which means we can finally get rid of the cultists. I know we haven't seen much of them, but, uh, it's time to say goodbye to them, and thank God for that, because once we do the strange group mission, they will be gone, and thank goodness for that, because fuck the cultists. They are a pain in the ass. Sorry, I got nothing to say right now. I will say this though, the upcoming boss from a strange group, uh, this is an optional mission by the way, you can keep the cultists around for pretty much the rest of the game if you want to, but I don't want to, for obvious reasons. But um, anyways, as I was going to say, that upcoming boss fight is pretty freaking awesome, I love the uh, boss fight. I also love the theme, uh, Board Again by Lockjaw is his theme. And it is seriously one of the best songs I've ever heard in my life, if I say so myself. It's pretty freaking awesome. You should look it up, because unfortunately I'm going to have to talk over it. Right, got a couple of wines, so let's go make a quick step, shall we? Make a nectar or two, and maybe an untouchable. Why not? Why not, right? Untouchable is still useful. Uh, you can also make orange juice and pie to make... Uh, Untouchable, I believe, but for some reason it took me forever to figure that out. So, anyways, orange juice and orange juice, and I believe we have enough room for another nectar. So, let's go make another. Let's see, oh, nectar, untouchable, quick step. Yep, sure enough, I do. Fantastic. And I did not mean to dodge roll there. Seriously, I hate the new controls for the dodge roll. It's so, god damn it, so annoying. Stop that. All right, now we can jump down here, do the knee drop, and no damage now. Thank God. Pretty freaking awesome. All right, time to go take out the uh, cultist leader. Remember him? Remember that cutscene we had? I hope so, because it wasn't that long ago, was it? I don't know. That feel like long ago to me, because I'm doing pretty much all the commentary in one sitting, but, you know. It is what it is. Anyways, let's go, uh, go into the cinema. And, um, ooh, Mega Man, nice. I wonder if there's a Mega Man movie coming up. That'd be cool. As long as it's not a disaster like my number nine was. <laughs> Strange. No zombies here. And there's a rush from here, so let's go ahead and save real quick. Because, like I said, if you're doing this run, save often. So, go ahead and go into the stall. Go ahead and save over that one. Hooray. And let's get going. Time for our next boss fight. 
pretty awesome one at that. I think this guy has a PPA sticker on him, but I didn't see it, so, yeah. Alrighty, oh hell, that's a lot of cultists. But no big deal, I got this. We'll take him out, oh shit, there's the powder I was talking about. Thank God they did not get me there. Whew, that was close. That was really close. Anyways, folks, that's going to do it for me, so I'll see you on the next part after this cutscene. Enjoy. Those who reject salvation embrace ignorance. Turn your tainted blood to the foul earth that has spawned you! <laughs> 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 